morning good afternoon good evening every time you're seeing me welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new hi hey what's up and how is your day going like how is your day going tell me in the comments how was your weekend how is your year going how was your valentine's valentine's you know i still have this strong urge to say valentine's <laughs> anyways don't bring the locality out of youtube so how's your valentine's just tell me in the comments tell me how is it how is it okay not surprised but tell me anyways so today's video I'm going, to, I'm going to give you my personal tips and my opinions because why not <laughs> and I look different and I apologize for not telling the YouTube community before I went and shared my post on snapchat if you follow my snapchat which you should anyways hello hi as you can see by today's video I'm showing you how to find your style in the best way possible I'm gonna keep this video as concise as possible because I don't want to keep on ranting and ranting and ranting. I hope you guys like my outfit. This is got this, this is thrifted. This is also thrifted. My waist beads are from Nigeria. My mommy gave me my auntie put it for me, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys my tips on finding your style. All opinions are in this video are totally mine. Some are some are from research, but yeah, some are totally mine. And yeah, take from this video what you wish and bring a notebook and a pen and write down everything that is important to you because everything will help you because it helped me. Yeah, let's get straight into this video. The first section or tip I have, I don't know what's a section. First tip I have is declutter clear out your wardrobe and declutter regularly also if you keep if you wonder why i'm on this phone i'm just gonna all my notes on notion and my phone so everything is just there uh so yeah first thing we have is clearing out your wardrobe and decluttering regularly this is the first step to finding your style you need to be clear about pieces in your wardrobe or closet that you don't like or just don't fit you, fit you anymore so like i started finding my whole style or like i started my journey at first august 2022 last year so what i did was i cleared out my wardrobe for two reasons so that i know what to pack and i know the kind of clothes to start from i think this is the most important step and first step because you know what to remove and you know that kind of thing where you have so much things in your wardrobe or your closet and you don't know what to pick because there's so many things you're tossing out to decide you're like what's this what's that when i did mine last year i moved things that i didn't even see myself wearing anymore what helped me was i would picture myself in, that, in an outfit i could make from that piece and if i didn't think about anything that i liked i would toss it in the giving to somebody else pile or selling pile or giving to charity pile but like that was what I would do. I would do this regularly. Actually, I've been doing it for like the longest time. I would always declutter my wardrobe and remove things that I didn't like and don't fit me anymore because obviously we're growing human beings. Of course, some things are not fit us anymore. So I'll give them to my sisters or I would just give them to one of my aunties or something because I don't know. You give them out to charity or sell them on popular apps like Epop, Vinted, some other interesting like if you have high-end like high selling or like high-end brand clothes you could sell them on higher selling apps um i think there's this app called grailed both like dior or if you're in nigeria which you obviously are or most of my orders are from nigeria anyways we could sell your clothes on jumia on conga or gg and even on instagram to be honest which goes on both ways because i mean you could just put on you could just snap your Pick, you could just snap your whatever and put it on Instagram. Yeah, you could sell them or oh, give them to charity. Give them to charity. I give it to the orphanage. Just one thing I always did when I was growing up. Whenever I didn't have, whenever I had clothes I didn't really like or I didn't, or my son didn't like any of them, I'll give them to the orphanage. The next tip I have, which I'll name, I'll label it as 2A. You might have color skin. 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 <laughs> what kind of colors are the most in your pile of clothes? Are there more blacks and blues? Do you like bright or earthy colors? Well, obviously for me, I like earthy colors being or earthy tones where we have beige, green, brown, just 
tones around these three major colors then we also have me liking black gray and white so just really basic colors that i really just enjoy wearing yeah because sometimes, sometimes i would have like a really black um, all black outfit i just like black big and white anyways it's, like i said my budget is full of earthy tones such as green brown and beige and then i just have basics in black gray and white find a color scheme and start pairing outfits together and get new pieces of this color scheme so this all revolves in after you've decluttered your wardrobe look at the colors in your pile what colors do you like or even if you don't even look at the colors in your pile look around you what's your favorite color like would you see yourself wearing that color or uh, the color you see around you do you fancy that color do you like wearing bright colors or like dark colors into brighter yellows um brighter reds do you like darker tones do you like dark brown dark green i don't know why these are the only colors in my brain right now do you like pink these kind of things could really help and shape a personal and unique style then for 2b we have fitting of clothes which to me is the second most important thing not not most important actually where we have to be where we have do you like baggy clothes or you like tight fitted clothes you don't really have to choose which one instead which do you like more that could be your that could be something to really start from do you like to show your figure or you ever hide it you know these are the kind of things to really put into consideration do you like uh like me i i love streetwear I like baggy streetwear so um where we have we can begin from the colors being it being beige and this green romper i'm wearing that could just wear like black baggy jeans and to me that's an outfit that that's just me we have this being a little bit baggy we have this romper i'm being really tight then i could have like wear black jeans which are really baggy so it's that kind of thing where you're asking yourself you don't have to pick one it's more of asking it's more of the question is which do you like more and that could be something you could incorporate into your wardrobe and your style and it makes you even more unique so just to rephrase everything i've just said <laughs> color schemes and fitting of clothes are really important and finding your unique style it's another side notes i'll call them tiny notes thrift clothes rather than buying new clothes as you're starting your styling journey you don't want to start buying expensive clothes from fast fashion brands and be sad when you don't feel good in the pieces you get i would recommend thrifting clothes or if you're again you're too like skeptical about buying clothes you could always go to malls and try out clothes and see yourself in the mirror like this is something i really want to do like i really 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 want to do if you watch my last video when i went to york with my mom i literally spent i could have showed so much content about that but anyways that's something you could really do in case you don't really want to start spending money on clothes even though they're thrifty, even if, even if they're less expensive, you could always go to malls and try out clothes. Even if you don't buy anything, no one goes to beat you. It's, it's basically window shopping, but you're, you're inside your shop, behind the window. <laughs> But yeah, that's something you can really do. Try out clothes in the shops and see yourself. And if you like them, then that's something you could really do. Then when you're ready, you could start thrifting clothes. And again, thrift, when you thrift clothes, obviously someone else could find them in a different store. But like, to me, thrifting is like finding gold in the midst of sand. Yeah. When you pick out pieces, you find things that are unique to you. And not everybody has, especially if you um thrift clothes and the clothes are not and the brands are not really like known brands if that makes sense like i have no idea where these brands are from i should probably check but i really didn't and some thrift stores really remove the brand's name from the clothes so you don't even know but thrifting and behind window shopping is a good way to help you buy the clothes you need thrifting clothes and I'm buying new clothes as this is more sustainable and makes your style more unique. Now you're probably asking yourself, okay, if I buy clothes, how do I pair them? Well, on to the next major tip. A mood board. This is your outline. 
getting inspiration from Pinterest, TikTok and Instagram is your key to styling fits. Let's go all the way back. Color scheme question. Do you have influencers that you follow? My ears are wow. <laughs> Anyways, you can look at influencers that wear the kind of colors or like the kind of fitting, more like colors and fittings you wear. Like me, I follow black streetwear influencers. Also follow all those earthy black girls. I follow that. I saw. I follow some of them on Instagram. So I just see your outfits and I'm like, oh, okay, that's a nice color. I'm gonna add that to my to my save. I'm gonna add that to this. I'm gonna take a picture of this. And one thing that is even great about Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. Is focus on Pinterest. I would say Pinterest is best app to find outfit inspiration because you could type anything like i could type earthy black girl streetwear outfits and i see everything and i know where my colors and how to pair my colors and how to do some things i'm not you don't have to recreate them if you do then that's fine but it's always good to just look at it and be inspired and just choose one or two pieces you could add to whatever you already have I like how I do my hair like that. Okay. <laughs> now anything can be searched on, on Pinterest, e.g. black crop top outfit there. And the funny thing is how you could add black crop top outfit black girl and it shows you it's just I don't know. I don't know why I don't know why it does that, but you could do that and it's more diverse to you. Searching for inspiration on Pinterest helps and it gives you the colours you could pair them with. If you could pair a fit with um, a fitted item with a baggy item or doing all baggy or doing all tight it's all depending on you and how you feel um well speaking on me my style is very much earthy so my pinterest mood bulb is very much earthy black girl with a sprinkle of streetwear because i am still in my streetwear phase and i don't think i can leave that i like my baggy clothes still with me but then because i still want to add things to my layers, add things to me. So I try to mix up items like me. I would like three years ago me would never wear a romper but because I'm trying different things. Now moving on to Instagram and TikTok. On TikTok on TikTok you could save you could make a collection called outfits when you're scrolling on TikTok I do is when I go on TikTok and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling endlessly because that's a very unhealthy thing thing to do and I'm supposed to do it anyways. But when you're scrolling on TikTok and you see this girl or boy that you think their outfit is fire and you like what they're wearing, make a collection on TikTok and you can just save them and name them outfits so that you could have something to look back on when you have an outfit in mind and you want to recreate something something i really do because it helps me to it's the same thing as looking back on my pinterest mood board then on instagram a collection on Instagram and save outfits you see on Instagram and you think you want to recreate them or you think you might be inspired by them later on in the future. Another great inspiration for me is watching runway shows. Yes, I know that runway shows could have some bizarre outfits, but sometimes some of it is really great. Another note, use Pinterest, fashion influencers, and social media as a guide and for inspiration and not as an instruction book and not as an excuse to make you hate yourself and the way you look and the way your body is. We're all born different, we're all beautiful in our own skin. Look at the outfit, not the face. I don't know how to say this more. If you think it's becoming too overwhelming, drop it, drop it, just leave it. But use Pinterest, 
fashion influencers, Instagram, TikTok, ads. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use a fashion influencer as an instruction book. What they wear doesn't have to be the thing you wear today or tomorrow or next week. You're only an inspiration. It doesn't have to be. It mustn't be like that. Yeah. If you want to recreate that, fine. But don't make sure don't make it a daily thing where everything you wear is much you have to wear. Looking at colours and silhouettes is already enough. So the fourth thing I'm gonna talk about is basics. Now that you know what you're going to wear and how you're going to wear them, basics. Basics are one of those important things you need. I know I've said so many things are your are your important things, but bear with me. Basics like black tank tops, white tank tops, camisole tops, any kind of basic. Basic jeans. I don't know how else to put this. Basic coats. Just little things you could layer on top. Basics to me are your important clothes and things you should focus on buying more yeah basics are your canvas for beginning an outfit and to a great outfit these include tank tops t-shirts slip dresses normal jeans a coat sweater etc when you have basics you can start creating your outfit from there like that is something that is really key there are something you start with be, like making outfits are easier when you start with the basic it becomes easier from the basics in any color you feel defines who you are and make you unique because now for example me green i have a basic green romper i know where to start from i could like i said before using the same example i have this green romper i could wear jeans with these let me just show you how the green romper looks wearing jeans this makes it an outfit already remember basics that are your favorite color or colors you like and colors that define you they are the always best basics to get last tip practice 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 once you have this you practice practice and practice it sticks with you and then you know what to change you know how to play around with different pieces you know what piece to add to your outfit to make it bomb how to play around with different pieces and you gradually become more confident in your choices now i won't say i know how to dress but like i know what to add to my outfit to make it bomb you know and it's not oh you don't have to have the most wonderful thing or the most extravagant piece to add to your dressing once you know this once you know these four tips and you practice them every single time you are confident with the kind of outfits you're gonna get the kind of outfits that define you and you have your style now for the other things that i really don't think can be explained i call them important deal breaker notes first don't follow seasonal trends pick what you like from them and add to your collection now this all stems from practice 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 once you know the kind of outfits that fit you and you feel confident in your choices, you won't, you won't feel the need to follow seasonal trends because you already feel good with what you're wearing. Sure, trends are great, but pick from what the trends are and add to your pieces. You don't have to pick a trend. <laughs> you don't have to pick any trend and add it to your piece, but if you think it'd be nice, you can always do that, but don't follow them. I think one of the things that are, I think one of the things that mislead people into dressing or styling, they always think they have to follow seasonal trends. Because when you follow seasonal trends, you're buying bulk and bulk of clothes that you think are great. But when that trend uh, when that trend dies, you are you are left with wasted money and heaps of clothes you don't know what to do with. One thing that helped me in my journey is looking at YouTube videos. Like I watched this beautiful youtuber lady ozark and susie lola yeah they both have youtube videos on timeless pieces and trendy pieces but like they have videos on this kind of topic so you know what kind of pieces to add to your wardrobe some pieces and trends might be timeless some might just be trendy in the sense that they will die off in the next three weeks don't be shy to go out of your comfort zone an extraordinary piece a month now you're confident in what you wear you're confident in your choices that you've made with your outfit 
don't stay there. I mean, if you want to stay there, that's fine. But if you want to spice things up, add something extraordinary. Like something I really want to get my hands on. It's not jackets, biker jackets. That's something I really want to add to my piece of clothing. Because I think that will make me happy. And I think, again, an extraordinary piece for me. I will start from this year. I want to get an extraordinary piece a month. Sure, thrifting is great. But like, I want to at least spend money on a really good piece a month. Yeah. Because I feel like I'll be happy with that. Like, because I'm confident. That tip I have don't label what kind of style you are into. Let it flow. Do not box yourself. Oh my god, I'm so not into the whole aesthetic thing. Like, you don't have to find your aesthetic first before you start finding the kind of pieces you are into. Try everything. Try everything. Try everything. <laughs> Try everything before you start niching down. And you don't have to niche down. You could wear anything. Like, no one is asking. You don't have to be a dark academia. You don't have to be minimalistic if you don't feel like it. It also stems from an extraordinary, an extraordinary piece a month. Who knows, if you get an extraordinary piece and you like that piece, you could start stemming a different style from there. You have no idea that you could have done that because you tried something new. You don't have to box yourself. Boxing yourself, you're, you're limited into the kind of quotes you could wear. Like you're very limited, you know? Next thing I have is when buying clothes, think about the pre-existing clothes you have and focus on buying pieces to add to the existing one. You have to make different outfits. Now this means when you're buying clothes or when you're thrifting clothes, before you actually buy them, carry them in your hand and look at this and think, hmm, would this, what would I pair this with with the, kind of with the early clothes you have back at home or back in your wardrobe? If you cannot make an outfit from that, drop. It saves money. It saves money. It has made me not spend so much money on clothes I don't need because I don't know what to pair them with the things I already have. Last important deal breaker is accessorize. I cannot explain this more. Like right now I'm being chill and I'm wearing my waist beads. To me that's not enough accessorizing, but great accessorizing. Accessories make your outfits more noticeable and make your outfits more outstanding. I mean, sure, you could wear a basic pair of basic tank top and basic blue jeans, but add a bag, add a hat, add an extraordinary sweater, add some really cool shoes. That's an outfit. Like, what do you mean? Accessories like jewelry, bags, hats, caps, chains, shoes. They make your outfits more noticeable. We have reached to the end of this video. I hope you wrote down everything I said and hopefully I made sense in this video. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I love you and let's get to 4,000 subscribers, please. I'm really trying my best, please. <laughs> please, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I love you and have a great day and I hope the rest of your day goes splendid. Bye!